Kim, I am so excited about today's episode of Business Beat. We are going to meet a young man named Al Roy. Okay. I found him on the socials. Okay. He started a drip clean business. Okay. And I was fascinated. I saw him on Queen Stacey Lee May's Queen of Spinning. And when I saw Drip, I thought this is an opportunity to bring the Queen of Drip herself <laughs> with me to a shoot to go and talk to this young entrepreneur. He loves your sneaker collection. I've been in that room. I have seen it with my own eyes. You have, you have. So I know exactly what there is to obsess <laughs> over. Because I don't actually know anything about sneakers, okay. I thought it would be fitting for, sure. for you to come and co-host today's episode of Business Beat. Honored. So what is this drip culture in South Africa? And is it even viable from a business point of view? As you know, Odette, from our, con from our last conversation, the sneaker community and footwear industry is a multi-multi-billion dollar industry mm -hmm. globally. South Africa, and especially us people of culture, have been buying into the sneaker community and into the sneaker culture because it's so closely tied to, to hip hop, to fashion, to culture. And so if someone is going to be spending thousands and thousands and thousands on one pair of shoes, you best believe they're going to want to maintain it and keep it as clean as possible. Yes, I can and imagine. Exactly. Yeah. So you can flex in the streets with your crazy expensive kicks. Oh, wow. It okay. So he found an opportunity to clean kicks for all of these people who are obsessed. Yes. Right? Is that also a viable business? What do you think he should be doing in terms of tapping into the broader South African market? 100% it's a viable business. If you look all over Johannesburg, all over South Africa, you, you'll see how many of these sneaker cleaning companies have opened up and how much they charge. Odette, you can pay as much as a thousand rand for a to single clean sneaker the sneakers. clean. To clean 100%. Because Shoot. there are different layers and options of, 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 of a sneaker clean. You yeah. can do just the sole. You can do um, just the laces. You can do the entire exterior. You can do interior and exterior. It's like a car. Oh my goodness. And because of that, there's different price points. So ah. you can pay as much as a thousand rand just to clean a single pair of shoes. So I gather that if you are going to be spending a fortune on sneakers, mm -hmm. and I saw Yeezy Foam Runners. Yes, Queen. I have become obsessed. <laughs> I am not so impressed with the price yeah. because it is now super, super expensive. Ridiculous. If I were to buy a pair, I'm not even sure I would wear them. And if I were to wear them, I don't know if I would just chuck them in the washing machine. You to can't. Clean. <gasps> you can't. You'll okay, destroy your that, shoe. Is that sacrilege? Sacrilegious. <laughs> what? No way. So yeah, we're going to learn a lot about actually how to take care of your sneakers from this young man. Okay. And I'm very excited to get some insider tips. Oh, I can't wait. Yes, let's get to it. Elroy, hi. Hi, Odette. Welcome to Business Beat. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. I saw you on the socials. I saw that the Queen of Smoke, Stacey Lee May, was here. Yes, yes, yes. She posted about coming to Drip Clean. I yeah. was curious to find out what Drip, Drip Clean was all about. Yes. When I clicked on the link, I found that it was a sneaker cleaning business. Yeah. And I thought, I don't really know too much about sneakers, yes. but I brought somebody along who is the queen of drip yes. and trust me i have seen her sneaker room so yeah. i know exactly yeah. what her passion for sneakers is all about kim jade will be joining us today and we'll talk about drip culture really your kim jade. yes wow let's talk a little bit about what you do so kim's come with a pair of kicks i yeah. have <laughs> okay so show us tell us what it is that you do when a client comes in with Precious cargo. What we do is if a client comes to our store, we first welcome the client and then thereafter we book the pair of sneakers, you know, whichever the amount of pairs of sneakers is, you know, um, that they bring in. And then what we do is um, we first look at how we're going to clean the sneaker before we actually start cleaning it. Fire. So, okay. Alrighty. So let's do this. Today, so this is the Puma Fenty collaboration. The collaboration that Puma did with Rihanna a couple yeah. of years ago. Okay. And it was the first time she had actually launched the Fenty collection before yeah. it was her brand privately. So okay. yeah. It's the cakes. Yeah, no, it's great. It's actually the first pair that I'm <laughs> seeing that is like this. So. Hold up. Are we talking about Riri? Yeah, as in the queen. Oh <laughs> my goodness. So people have come to you mm -hmm. and said to you, can you please take care of these shoes? How did this whole concept of 
drip clean come about? Growing up while I was in school, you know, we were really passionate about those. Start, they started with cool shoes, you used to shine off cool shoes, always, you know, of looking course. clean. As time went on, I realized that I'm getting too busy now and I didn't actually get enough time to do it. And I thought that, okay, so if I don't have time, what about the other people? So there's people that are much more busy than what I am and there's some people that doesn't really know how to clean their sneakers. Yeah. So I thought, okay, seeing that I know how to do it, why not go for it? So advertising it and then more people started coming and coming and coming and coming and since then it's just... So how did you advertise it? Did you put it on your socials or yeah, did you just tell yeah. your friends? So what I did was I opened the Facebook page, opened the Instagram page, oh, started wow. advertising on WhatsApp as well and then as time went on and things went better, we did a website and so forth and then wow. from there we moved up until here. And how long has your business been going? So we've been going for two years now. Two years? Yeah, major. we've been here for two years now. In business management, if you go and study, they always talk about most startup businesses are destined to fail yes. within the first two years. Okay. What I'm seeing is that you now have, two years later, a little store of your own. Yes. Were you always operating from your own premises or is this a new store? We were operating here within the, within the let, let's say the first year we were operating here, but um, the setup was quite different. We did some changes since then and even with the operating system and so forth. So mm -hmm. we know that at most people say that within the first two years a small business fails but we believe that you have to be consistent right that, that's what people want to see and if you're consistent you will get results so mm. you have to believe sometimes it's bad days sometimes it's good days but yeah. you just have to be consistent and believe you, you shouldn't give up mm. I totally agree with so, you. so so what we do is if we see that it's slow we go out there and Random people I would ask them, if I see someone with a dirty pair of sneakers, I ask them, okay, check, why don't, why don't you clean your sneakers? He say, okay, no, I'm based somewhere else. I say, yeah, we also offer pickup and delivery services. Oh. So that's how we keep going. We're always active on social media, so mm -hmm. engaging with people and so forth. So more people come. So what I'm seeing is that you are very hands-on in your business. Yeah. Do you intend doing a bit of skills transfer, skills development, teaching people how to actually clean and care for yes. the goods that come in yes. uh, yourself? I'm very open to that, to helping, to helping younger guys to, to, to start their own businesses. I will teach them, I'll tell them, okay, this product, you get it there, 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 and then you do one, two, three. And if you, okay. know, if you want to come work here now and then, you can okay. spend time here and also clean sneakers and learn how to work with clients and so forth. Well, I think you have a really amazing mm. business yeah. model. I think sure. that you have such an incredible energy, sure. right? Oh, yeah. And a determination and a passion. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, I came here expecting to learn about sneakers. Yeah. What I got was an education yeah. on how to be an entrepreneur sure. in a community and empower the yes. community around you. Yeah. Kudos to you, Amway. Really For and sure. truly. Let's have a look at how you treat Kim's precious Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's, okay. let's see what Drip see what you is got. actually okay. all about. Okay. No okay. So, Auri, thank you so much for having us. Okay, thank, um, thanks, thanks for coming. And thanks we had for coming. an awesome visit. Yes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we look forward to seeing you around. Okay. And um, I will be checking you on the socials to make yes. sure that you're still going. And yeah. if there's any business advice that you need, okay. just pop me a DM. Oh, okay. you're so cute. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. will I'll gladly respond. Okay. Um, welcome to the Business Beat Fraternity and we Hi. wish you everything of the best for Drip Clean. Thanks for May coming your business through. grow from success for sure to success. success. Thanks for coming through guys. I really appreciate <laughs> okay. it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for Thank having you us. Thank you for okay. having us. Until next time. Okay. Ciao. Ciao.